I'm Diane Russell. I'm a portrait artist in Portland, Oregon. I started out in illustration, fashion, but I was always really good with people. I, I, I drew people. That's what I did. I've always done that my whole life. After about 27 years of fashion illustration, I got pretty bored with it because it wasn't real enough. So I started painting again, started out in acrylic, and then discovered M. Graham paints. <laughs> I didn't know that you could paint without solvents. I didn't know that. In college, it was nothing but turpentine and dryer. So it was all very toxic, and my body couldn't handle that. I took a class recently in New York. I love brilliant color, but my paintings were kind of all brilliant color, and there wasn't that mix of subdued and brilliance. I learned how to gray down some of the colors so that they fall back. And then what happens is the brilliant color really shows at that point. Instead of taking over the canvas, you have that small bit of brilliance and it really pops. Zoe is the first painting I did since I took the class. It's much more subtle. You know, I kind of pulled in the reins a little bit and concentrated on different things. I didn't concentrate on the color, but the color came through anyway but I wasn't really concentrating on it like I did with my musician paintings. The way I was painting skin tones, I was using cadmiums. I'm not using cadmiums any longer. I'm using more earth tones. It's surprising how so few colors can look like so many colors when you mix it properly and use all the different values. You know, I've got nine values here, so I can really get a lot of uh, mileage out of just three or four colors. I love Terra Rosa. Oh, God, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> it's just the most beautiful pinkish, reddish. It's warm, and with the white added, it's just luscious. I use it oftentimes in the faces, and especially in the cheek areas. And anytime I want to get a really beautiful glow, I'll use Terra Rosa. I think the way I approach the form now is different in that I really see what's happening when you look at an arm or a face to make that form believable, that there's a lot of different values that happen, a lot of different colors that are happening. You don't necessarily see it, but when you paint it all in and you see it pretty accurately on the painting, the painting comes alive. When I paint, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, that that's my job here on Earth <laughs> is to be painting. It's what gets me up every morning.